Hi, Taos County. This is reporter John Miller with a preview of what you can expect to see in this week's paper. First up in the news, reporter Cody Hooks has a suite of stories taking a look at different aspects of the drought in New Mexico. Drought is a natural part of this region, but with climate change, more erratic rain and snow will be the norm. The stories examine a host of issues in the Penasco Valley, from community wells going dry to challenges in sharing acequia water, as well as the scientists who are researching the impact of drought on native pollinators. In the courts, a jury trial started on Tuesday for Ricky Romero, a sergeant with the Taos County Sheriff's Office charged with Medicaid fraud and 20 other counts. Romero ran for sheriff in 2014 and last year was indicted for allegedly illegally billing a home care organization. We'll be providing updates on that trial throughout the week. And in an effort to raise funds for Dream Tree Project here in Taos, Arroyo Seco Art Gallery Parseco hosted a month-long show that brought together local artists to design Vans Classic Shoes to be auctioned off at the gallery. The efforts raised 1200 bucks for Dream Tree, which, which will be added to the nonprofit's general operations budget. In Tempo, Taos is getting ready for one of the biggest, most unusual music and art happenings ever. It's called the Meow Wolf Taos Vortex, happening this weekend in Kit Carson Park. We also have the first of a two-part story on artist Rory Wagner, who is being recognized with a museum exhibition. We also cover art exhibi exhibits featuring Dworka Bonner, Charles Collins, and Lynette Jesus. There's also a lot more, plus a movie review of the new Tom Cruise thriller, Mission Impossible Fallout. In sports, turnover has created an inordinate number of coaching and athletic director changes in Cuesta. This week, we take a look at the impact of this on sports teams in recent years and what that means for the Wildcats moving forward. Lots of activities took, took place around Taos County this past weekend, and results can also be found in this week's sports section. Also keep an eye out for uh, sports and pictures for July. Also this week, be sure to pick up our uh, free edition of Back to School Guide, which gives parents and students all the information they need to know for the upcoming school year. In weather, expect highs in the mid-80s, lows in the 50s, and there's also a 50% chance of rain on Friday, as well as showers forecast for early next week. That will do it for this week's preview. Make sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter, and visit our website for breaking news updates. Other than that, have a good weekend, Taos.